hi everybody well finally I've been able to complete this video I did stuff up and I lost some footage but what you'll be seeing today is what I have left which is the pointer finger the ring finger and the thumb of this set I'll talk through the other nail designs but hopefully you can get a good idea of some of the techniques just by what I have here so we'll start with the thumbnail which is definitely the most straightforward in this set I'm just doing two coats of black polish. You wanna make sure that the polish that you're using leaves a tacky layer because you're going to be doing a glitter ombre on top. The glitter that I'm going to use is by Luxa Polish. It's a nice color shifting glitter and I'm just going to come down from the top and create an ombre. You can top coat that once you're done and that's the thumb finished. For the pointer finger, we want to start by sticking some PowerShell onto the nail. So you can use whatever gel you use to secure your gems and charms and just randomly place the shell up the nail. When you're happy with the placement of the shell, you can cure that so it stays in place. Then I'm going to come in with some black acrylic you want to make the acrylic quite wet because you want it to kind of run in between the spaces between those shells. So use quite a wet bead and just make sure that as it runs up the nail it fills in those little gaps. We're going to be creating a two-tone effect on this nail and you want your top colour to be transparent. Because of the shells, the nail's going to look quite lumpy at this point, so we need to get the bulk off. I'm using an e-file, and I suggest you do too, because it's quite a bit of work. I'd also suggest that you have adequate ventilation, because those shells stink, and I don't know if there's some kind of airborne marine virus that gets released when you file them. So just to be on the safe side, I would use a fan or an air extractor type thing, um, yeah, they stink. Once that is smooth and buffed, we're going to go in with our next step on this nail, which is water marbling. For this, you'll need room temperature water, regular black polish, alcohol, and make sure your alcohol has a spray top on it. So just drop some of the black polish onto the water and wait for it to spread. Once it's spread out, or you can give it a bit of a hand spreading out, Spray your alcohol onto the polish and it will break apart. You can control the type of design that forms on the polish by controlling the way you spray your alcohol. If you spray larger droplets onto the polish, you'll get the larger design that we want for this particular nail. And in the next nail, you'll see how you can use the alcohol to create a different design in the polish. When you see part of the polish that you like, you can dip your nail down into that and then remove the excess polish with a cotton bud. You can see here that some of the polish has covered up the shell down at the bottom of the nail. I want that shell to be exposed so I'm just going to get some acetone on a cotton pad and just wipe the polish away from that area. When you're happy with the way that design looks, Set the nail aside to dry. We don't want a top coat until that water marbling is completely dry. For this design, I've decided to leave that transparent section of acrylic at the top matte. So what I'm gonna do is top coat the bottom half of the nail and then come in with a fine brush and just go over the water marbling sections with top coat.
Okay, so this is where I lost some of my footage. You can see though that in the middle nail, I've done the same thing, except this time instead of black acrylic, I picked up some clear acrylic with glitter and used that to go up the nail between the stones instead of black. I then filed that down just like the other nail and did water marbling over the top of that one as well. Okay, let's move on to the ring finger. This one's pretty straightforward as well. It's pretty much just two coats of black polish. Leave a sticky layer on that polish and then come in with a glitter or metal flakes or something chromey and then do an ombre down the nail, leaving a little bit of black in the corner just for some dimension. We're going in with our water marbling again, but this time I'm going to use my alcohol to spray a finer mist into the polish. This will break up the polish into smaller cells, I guess you can say, and it creates a slightly different look. The thing that gives this nail its quality is layering. We're going to water marble again using the same technique so you get kind of an amplified version of the design. Again, with the water marbling, make sure you let that dry completely before you try and top coat, because if you don't, your top coat will be all gluggy and bubbly and gross. So I also lost the footage where I created the pinky nail. Luckily it's really straightforward. It's pretty much the same as the ring finger in that it's black polish with some chrome or glitter or pigment on top and then just a selection of charms or gems down in the bottom corner. Well I hope that what you've seen today has helped you and given you some ideas of how you can use this in your work. I apologise for the lack of footage but what can you do? I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.